With season two of the Cycle Frontier finally upon us, it's time for another green gear guide. And this time we have something new. We have backpacks, armor, and now we have a light grenade. The green tier of grenade that we're going to talk about. Before we get into it, make sure you're subbed to the channel. And if you want to be included in the next video, make sure to comment down below just like these guys did. And without further ado, let's shoot right into it. So if we make our way over to the gear printer, this is where you're going to craft all of your green gear. But first things first, let's talk about the medium backpack. This thing is going to be important for you in the early game just because you're going to have so many quest items so many things you want to carry that 200 pounds from the white bag just won't be enough and you're gonna want that 50 extra pounds to be able to get ahead quickly so to craft the medium backpack you're gonna need two polymetallic prefabricate and two altered nickel polymetallic prefabricate can be found in cabinets i'll show you a route later on in the video an altered nickel can be found in nickel nodes or it can be crafted if you go down to materials you'll see altered nickel you can craft one altered nickel with five nickels so this is really good so if you're mining for nickel and altered nickel you'll always have some way of getting altered nickel so now moving on to the grenade i decided to add the grenade in here just because it's new since there's different tiers i want to talk about grenades and just tell you what you need so for these light grenades they're honestly fairly simple to make all you need is two copper wire and two hardened metals these are super easy to find again we'll go over one long route in the video of where you can go but light grenades are always something great to have to push people out of a spot and really help you win your gunfights more often now for the armor this is going to be a bulk of the video just because there's three different types of armor there's restoration shield there's tactical shield and there's a normal shield from my experience i only recommend crafting normal green armor and this is just because restoration and tactical sure it can be helpful in some situations but i don't think it's worth the extra material first things first let's talk about restoration shield the so restoration shield the benefit from it is that you're going to gain 0.1 health restoration per second so in 10 seconds you're going to gain one health back so again it's not really a major change it's just something to help you get a little bit of health back for running on stims or if you just don't have the money to get stims so to craft the restoration helmet you're going to need two hardened metals two bright cap mushrooms and four final base again hardened metals can be found in structures and containers bright cap mushrooms are found in the water in the swamp so around lake and around rock pools spinal base are found from literally just killing striders every strider will guarantee drop one now for the shield portion it's almost the same thing but you need polymetallic prefabricate which can be found in cabinets in vaccine and waterfall these cabinets are the white cabinets with the drawers you'll see later in the video when we go over the route you need those bright cat mushrooms found in those swamp areas and you need more spinal base so that is for the restoration shield now for the tactical shield for the tactical shield you're going to need hardened metals which again found in containers and structures tables can be found in cabinets just like polymetallic prefabricate and again spinal base you can get from just killing striders anywhere now for the tactical shield you're going to need two polymetallic prefabricate two water weed filament and five spinal base we've talked about poly that's found in cabinets. And now water weed can also be found in the lake area and in the rock pools area. Again, just go explore. You'll see this plant. We'll go over it in route. And then spinal base once again is found from just killing strider. Now for the normal green helmet, this is the one I recommend you get just because it's truly so simple. All you need is two hardened metals and five spinal base. That's it. It's so cheap and it's so, so worth it. And for the green shield, you need two polymetallic prefabricate and you need five spinal base. So again, the normal shield is just so much easier to craft. Also for for the benefit of the tactical armor all you get is plus 15 maximum stamina so surely that's a decent amount of stamina but again depends if you think it's worth it to waste cables and to waste water weed filaments on just that extra piece of gear with that perk so now that we know what we're looking for let's go over a route and see how we're actually going to do this so first things first your best spawn that you're going to want to get is going to be in this portion of the area from down here to down here if you spawn anywhere in this radius that is going to be a big benefit to you just because you can hit the route really easily and quickly and in a really safe manner and with this route you can stick to the outer portions of the map so you don't have to go towards the more high traffic areas in this middle area of the map if you do spawn over here in the back like a jungle or at east caverns over here in this area you can still do the route backwards so it's really not that bad but let's talk about what we're actually going to do so if we spawn say at rock pools we get this spawn right here at the corner of rock pools first things first we're going to take a counterclockwise route around the map so basically we're going to go this way and take this path around the map. So at rock pools, which is going to be your first area that you're going to stop at, you're going to find bright cap mushrooms and they're going to be almost everywhere. And you're going to find water weed filaments in this area. After you hit rock pools, you can then stop at swamp camp and then swamp camp. They have some buildings. You can have the chance at finding some hardened metals in here. And you're going to find striders obviously along the way inside of swamp and just anywhere. So again, that's where your spinal base will come from. Kill any striders you see along the way of the route. Then you're going to make 
make your way all the way over here to what is called Science Campus. This is going to be really, really good for you just because you can find more hardened metals here. You can find copper wire and you can find a ton of spinal bases because there are a ton of striders if you get that fresh spawn there. And then right after you leave Science Campus, you're going to go right here to this area between Lagoon and between Science Campus. There is a ton of nickel here and you can just mine forever. I'm not even kidding you. There's like five to ten nodes just spread out in this area. Get all the nickel that you can get because again, you can craft altered nickel with a regular nickel. So no matter what, you're gaining nickel towards that altered nickel. Then for your very last spot, you're going to go to Vaccine Labs and this is where you're going to find your cables and your polymetallic prefabricate and these are found in those white cabinets. You can also, instead of hitting Vaccine, you could go all the way around to Waterfall Labs and you'll find the same type of thing. So basically, if we had the reverse spawn, if we spawned all the way up here, if we spawned all the way up here, say in jungle somewhere, we could take this route going this way around the map. And if we had an evac, say in rock pools or something like that, we could hit waterfall labs in place of vaccine labs. We're still going that way. We're still going to pass vaccine. But again, this is if you just don't want to hit it and you could go lake, find some water weed filaments there. Then you could just make your way again around. There's Eastern caverns right here, which will obviously have some nickel for you. Then you can hit that same exact route we hit before, which is vaccine. Go down to science campus. You can get some more nickel between science campus and lagoon. You make your way down, you hit swamp camp, and then you hit rock pools and then you can evac. So no matter what you get, no matter what spawn you get, you're going to be hitting this right side of the map right here. You're really just avoiding jungle in its entirety. You're not going to go there at all. You're going to hook a right and just go all the way around the right side of the map and just take advantage of all the loot there. So right here, I'm just trying to give you an example. We spawned between science campus and waterfall facility. So technically we can just go straight to science, get some nickel along the way, hit vaccine, go up to lake, hit waterfall, and then evac at jungle. Or we could just do kind of a shortcut, kind of just hit these two areas like vaccine science campus. And as you see right where I spawned, I already found some nickel. So we grabbed some nickel right here. We have one altered and five normal nickel. So we could craft another altered nickel with the five we have. So technically we just got two altered nickel. And now we'll make our way up to science campus where hopefully we're going to find some copper wire, find some striders along the way. And again, you see the nickel nodes up here. There's some velvet along the route if you need that for missions, but there is some nickel up here. So again, I can just grab more nickel as I go along. Now, as we make our way inside, as you see, it is looted already, but we can kill some striders since we're already here and we're already getting spinal base. We can check spawns to see if they still left some hardened metals, if they still left some copper wire. But if it's been looted, just keep it moving. There's going to be a lot of people at these locations just because it's so early season. But as you see right here, we did find some copper wire. So we'll grab that and just head on over. I have enough nickel, but if I didn't, I would stop right there behind this big rock right here. There are a ton of nickel spawns. Like right there, you can already see one in the distance. There's one right there. There's one right up there. They'll be just lining the wall all down there. So again, it's right between Lagoon and Science Campus. Now we'll make our way to Vaccine and we'll just loot there just to show you guys that there is the availability and this route will work. Now my evac is right here. So after I hit Vaccine, I can then just evac, get all my loot and hopefully get another spawn up here or down here and take that route that we were talking about. Now Vaccine does seem to already have been looted. I'm getting just railed right now. I'm probably dead here. I'll try to back up far just to make some room for myself. So again, you always have to be prepared to get these kills along the way. That guy got me off guard. He hit me to almost more than half of my health. And I was in a really bad spot there, but luckily we got that kill. Now we'll loot him. And he did have some polymetallic prefabricate, optic glasses, and he had some cables. This is stuff that he found here in Vaccine Labs. And these are the things I'm talking about. These are called cabinets, these white drawers. They won't have the drawers out. That just means they're looted. But if you peek them, these will have optic glass. They'll have cables and they'll have polymetallic prefabricate. So now once you hit your out, you can successfully evac. Hopefully we make it out of here alive. But as you see, there's some cables even here in these containers in the luggage crates. So again, there's going to be a lot of resources along this path that you take. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to follow me over on Twitch because I stream almost every day and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!